I'd like you to meet the Robot Geek Snapper Arm. This is an Arduino compatible robotic arm with five servos. So we've got four Robot Geek servos, one in the base, one in the shoulder, elbow, and a wrist. And then we've got a micro servo here in the gripper. All of this is built with Robot Geek brackets and plates. We even have a slewy berry in here, so it's really solid construction. Now this is the complete kit, so you get everything you need to build the robot, get it all programmed. At the heart, you've got the Geekduino, that's an Arduino-compatible microcontroller. Then you've got a shield. This is a board that fits on top of the Geekduino and allows you to connect all of our different inputs and our servos really easily with these three-pin connectors. As far as the inputs, you've got three joysticks that are going to let you control your arm position. You've got a knob to control your gripper, and then you've got two buttons here so that you can do different positions and posing for the arm. Then you'll get a power supply and USB cable. Like I said, everything you need to get it programmed. This is an Arduino compatible arm. Everything we've done, all of our sample and demo code, is written in the Arduino IDE and available on our website for download. And you'll be able to not only run our test code and our sample code, but then modify it to exactly what you need it to do. It's really modular. Everything's built on the centimeter grid, so it's really easy to move components apart. Even the arm itself is built on the centimeter grid, so you can actually take this base off and integrate it into other robots. So here we'll take a look at our snapper arm core, and this is basically just the core of the arm. You've got your five servos, your bearing, all of your hardware, and your base, and that's it. No electronics, no power, no USB. The idea with this is that if you have a Robot Geek Experimenters kit or a Rover or some other Robot Geek kit, you can use all of your existing electronics, just plug your servos right into it, and get going. You can either keep using this base sort of to the side of everything else, or like I said before, take this arm off the base and add it to whatever you've got. Another cool thing that you can do with this is if you've got your own Arduino already, you can use a breadboard or other jumper wires to just wire everything up yourself. This is going to be a little bit more difficult than using our Robot Geek sensor shield, but these are just PWM servos, so any microcontroller that's going to let you control PWM servos is going to let you interact and control this arm. So we're going to take a look at a couple different control options you have for your arm. Since you've got your joysticks, it's really easy to control each servo individually. So with this code, as you can see, as I move this joystick, my base servo is going to rotate. Here, my shoulder servo is going to rotate. I've got my elbow servo, my wrist servo, and I use this knob to control my gripper. So this is a really great example of taking inputs in the form of these joysticks and then mapping them directly to the servos. This code is really easy to understand, really simple, and a really great way to get into servos and robotics. In this example, we're using the exact same hardware, but we're using a different software. We're going to be using inverse kinematics. Inverse kinematics is a series of mathematical equations that tells you where each servo should go to move the gripper to a specific point. So instead of moving each servo individually, I'm going to try to move the gripper up, down, left, right, backwards and forwards, sort of an X, Y, Z motion. So as I move this, you see this gripper moves straight back and forth. I can have this move left and right in a line. Then I can also do up and down. I can adjust my wrist angle. And as you can see, everything's moving when I adjust my wrist angle because it's going to keep that wrist angle steady as I move my X, Y, and Z. And then, as usual, I have my gripper that I can control with my knob. So, I can very slowly move my X, Y, and Z over to our friend Tux here. Lift this up. Bring him down, maybe out a little bit. Let him go. So, this IK code is going to be a little bit more complicated than the previous code we showed, but it's still really easy to use the Arduino environment either to just take the code and integrate it directly in your project or go ahead and modify the IK code for exactly what you need it to do. Both of these arms also have some tools built in them to help you record and play back different poses. We'll go into this into a little more depth in another video, but We've already set up some poses on this arm, so by hitting a certain button sequence, 
it's going to start playing these poses that we've pre-recorded. You can adjust the exact points that the arms are going into. You can adjust the speed and a couple of different factors. This is really handy if you want to integrate this into a project where you have a repeated motion that you know exactly where the arm is going to go to. You can have this start up as soon as the Arduino starts up. You can have it start up like I did on a button press, or you can even activate it through a sensor. So our other examples show direct control using joysticks, but we've also done some code where you can control the arm through a serial packet. This means that a computer or another microcontroller sends a specific set of data to the arm, then the arm reacts to that, moving to a special, special position. To show this off, we are using the Arduino Uno and this breadboard, but this works just as well using the Geekduino and the Robot Geek Shield. And we've also written a piece of software that's going to show you exactly how it works. So just like using my joysticks, I'm able to adjust my X, my Y, and my Z. I can also close my gripper and adjust my wrist angle. I can adjust the speed that everything's going to be working at. I can even turn on an auto update mode where the arm will move with me as I adjust everything. And then this arm link software also has some advanced features that are going to let you take poses, record them, play them back, and even export them back to the arm so you can run the poses autonomously, as well as digital outputs so that you can automatically control different outputs on the Arduino board. You'll also have your analog input that you'll be able to read analog inputs for. We've got another video on ArmLink that'll go into all this software a lot more in depth, but just know that it's really easy to control using the ArmLink software and using this code as a base for your own projects, whether it's a piece of software like ArmLink or if you want to integrate this robot and have it controlled by another microcontroller. If you want to learn more about the RobotGeek Snapper and the software, check out learn.robotgeek.com. We've got guides, code, video, documentation, all sorts of stuff to get you up and running. Make sure to keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for more Robot Geek projects, as well as a couple things we're doing with the Snapper. We're looking at a couple of gripper options, some FSR inputs, and just some other thing, cool different projects you can do with your Snapper.